and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the World Utilities Update. Now I've got a screenshot of what it says in, is in the update right here on my phone. So, yeah, but if I go into Game Mode 1, uh, World Guidebook. Uh, fixed an issue with tree cap data, breaking hand place log, added the homes utility, added death waypoints utility, added the junk borders utility, added that miners uh, lantern utility, added vein miner support for tools uh, from Tinker's construct, and the Add on that by F feed the beast. Well, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know about the vein miner one. It didn't say anything about the vein miner. I mean, here's a good thing I checked. So uh, let's see. Player homes. Is that in here? You know, there's chunk borders. So yeah, three point homes. There we go. Set, edit, and delete homes for you to teleport back to at any point by interacting with the homes item. Users can set up to three homes by default, however, this can be edited in the controller. There is cobblestone, wooden plank, and wooden door. One plank, five cobble, and a door. So, one plank, five cobble, and a door. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, couple, one, two, three, four, five. That's a door. And we have homes. So, yeah, oh, sleepy time. If I use this in add home, home, submit, so then we can go to home, so we can teleport and edit name, so yeah, you just teleport. This is pretty good, it, um, and then I could also have it be like, different bases you have, or you could have it be different places in your base, so I could have one here. Add home. Storage. So then you can uh, teleport to your home. So I could just like change it to like my bed. And then I can just Teleport down to my storage system. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, the unit, the uh, the remote. What is it called? The yeah, universal remote from uh, Essentials is better, but it's also way more expensive. So I think this is a good um, cheaper alternative for early game players. Next up, we'll look at the miners lantern for dynamic lighting. Yeah, minus lantern. While exploring dark caves and caverns, alter this lantern and a, a, a light will emanate around you. You may also hold this uh, in your offhand. It's uh, gla five glass, one torch, and three planks. So five glass, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five glass, uh, what was it? Five glass, one something, and then three planks. Five glass, one torch, three planks. Oh, I have torches, so I just need three planks now. There we go. And there's a minus lantern. So, uh, I don't have night vision. Uh, let me go into game mode one real quick so I can go find somewhere dark. I think there's one dark down here. 
Yeah, there we go. You can see that uh, it is move, there is a light source moving around me, and if I shift, yeah, it goes in my offhand. Well, that's, that is cool. You don't see it in your offhand, but it's there, and you basically light up an area around you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and if I and if you're curious how this works, give at p light. It uh, puts ah. So if I go to f five, it puts two light, two level fifteen light sources, one at your head and one at your feet. And that's how this works. And as you can see, they're getting cleared as you move around, which is really good because, uh, again, if that doesn't happen, it can cause lag, and obviously it's like permanent free light sources, so that would be very exploitable. So, yeah. Yeah, that is a cool little add on. Oh, uh, oh addition. And uh, next up is the chunk borders. So let's take a look here. Activate the chunk board border utility by interacting with the item once. Activating chunk borders will out uh, will be outlined by a particle effect. Slime chunks will also be shown with a different effect. Interact against disable cells an iron ingot, redstone dust, and fire and a firework. Uh, okay, so I'm a Give myself a firework. Give at p fire work work. There we go. Firework rocket. And what else was it? It was also two iron and two redstone. So not super expensive. Uh, I need to be in survival to craft it. And chunk borders. So if I activate this, ah, yeah, you can see. Uh, oh, this is a slime chunk by the looks of it. Hmm. Oh, activate. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this isn't a slime chunk. This is a slime chunk. Yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, uh, you get, you got me a bit confused there when it was a bit slow to remove the other flying chunk. But yeah, this is this works fine. How far up does this go? Oh, there we go. It is a bit slow to like uh, appear and disappear, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, it goes all the way up. But yeah, it, that is a useful tool. And the sprite is... Ah, there's like, supposed to be a single chunk here. Yeah, that's useful for like making farms and stuff. Uh, what's next up? Uh, death Waypoint. I think that's down here. Yeah, Death Waypoint. Want to recover your items upon death? Now you can check uh, your chat box for your death coordinates and then navigate your way back to them. You will find all your items stored for you to collect. Note, this function will be uh, disabled by default and can be enabled in the controller. Okay, good thing I didn't just go kill myself. Uh, con... I need to go into game mode 1. Controller. Or world utilities. There you go, death waypoint. Oh, you can change this to have like up to 10 homes or just one home or three homes. Uh, so you can disable pretty much everything. Death waypoint, chunk border, minus lantern, void chest, vein miner, tree capitator, spawner wrench, safari net, omni tool, multi block pickaxe, minus essen. Essentials, harvester, hoe, explosive pickaxe, a great, yeah, you can, I thought you could, 
Yeah, that's a lot you can say, but... Um... So yeah. Uh, death ray points. Let me just do kill myself. So, kill at P. I need to be in the survival because it won't kill me in creative. I forgot about that one. Settings, death waypoint. All right, let's try that again. All right, kill P. I'll keep inventories on. Keep inven. Inven. Oh, yeah, it's a game roll. Game roll. Keep. There we go. Yeah, keep inventory on, so I want to set that to false. And keep inventory has been set to false. So if I kill myself again. Oh, I did. Essentials must to. Yeah, essentials automatically play back to true. Game. Hold on. If I play in the. Um, Admin remote. Keep inventory is disabled. There we go. Okay. Can I finally test this out, please? Get damn it. Kill at P. Okay, that's annoying. It may be a bug with like essentials and all that, so uh, let's go to a different world that doesn't have any other add-ons and then test it out in there. Behaviour, like let's, let's remove Tinker's Construct so there's no other add-ons that could possibly interfere with this. Uh, where is it? There it is. Activate, add. Uh, oh. There you go, right. So, uh, I need the remote. So game mode one. Rem and there we go. Death ray point submit. All right. So if I get game mode zero, kill at p. Respawn. Oh, I'll keep inventories on. Game will keep. Oh, God damn it. Game will keep inventory false. Alright, hold on. I'm also going to set my spawn point over there on the Mushroom Island. Let's fly back over here. Um, point. At P.
image zero, kill, yeah, there you go. Oh, that is a cool little gravestone thing. Yeah, you're right, click it and you can see it. Uh, can you see it through blocks? You cannot see it through blocks, which is a downside compared to um, uh, Essentials gravestone, but then you can take your stuff out of it and it does disappear. Does it save my stuff from lava? That's right there. Yeah, it does save your stuff from lava, so it is a really good uh, gravestone. Not the best again, Essentials is better because you can see it through the wall, but it does put the uh, coordinates in chat as well and the dimension, so that's fine. Not So yeah, pretty good. Um, and I might as well just finish the review in this world. Uh, death rate points fixing, you should retreat after- oh, well that's a, la the last of it, because yeah, they don't really need- yeah. So yeah, pretty good update. Um, I'm surprised it took them this long to add a gravestone, but it is a really good looking gravestone. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And uh, oh yeah, don't forget to join the Discord, link down in the description below. Bye bye.